welcome back to another brand new video and enjoying this beautiful sunny spring day weather because yesterday it felt like winter today it feels like spring it's definitely spring so welcome to tell you everything with mama pain and what is today's video well I'm gonna be talking about today's video and showing you guys some really great Easter tip ideas that will be fun for you and your kids but before I do I want to say and this is something I forget to mention on videos that I do have a second channel it's called Exploring the Afterlife. And if you're into the paranormal and you like the scary stuff and you somewhat are skeptic, go to that channel and subscribe because that channel really brings the truth and paranormal. And the paranormal that's going on is right behind me, my house. You guys need to go check out that channel and please go subscribe and please, please uh, jump on and be part of my adventures and help me grow that channel. Okay, so I'm up. I did the hair. Um, it's cold in my house, so I'm wearing a sweater or a sweatshirt. And out here, it's beautiful spring. As you could see from the beginning of the video, to now check out the beautiful azaleas if those that don't know what the azaleas are they're very popular in our state of North Carolina which they do have a big deal for the uh, azaleas called the azalea festival and that happened over the weekend which was just a few days ago they have a major parade and all kinds of things going on live concerts down by the water in downtown Wilmington North Carolina you guys should check that out it's pretty cool I didn't get to go I was under the weather so I was stuck inside my mom cave for the past 48 hours I do have you know some stuff that I go through that sometimes I can't get out of the bed so you know I don't know what it is as much as I fight it I can't get I can't get motivated but I'm motivated today even though I can't stand Mondays but I am not gonna let Mondays take me down okay so I'm gonna go inside and so we can get started on today's video I am going to go into my living room it is a total nightmare because I have dragged out all of my Easter stuff which a lot of the stuff that I'm going to talk about is stuff I've already had and a few things that I've bought from Walmart and of course Dollar Tree and you guys can see the Valentine's balloons are still floating which I'm gonna pop and recycle so with that being said I have a mess laying around it's just all laying around and the house is a, is a nightmare. This is what happens when mom or moms or single parents take a break. The house falls apart. No one around to pick it up, clean it up like mom or dads when dads, well, single dads that have to raise their kids on their own have to do the same thing we women do. Okay, with that being said, what I wanted to do today was show you guys something I've always done for my kids when they were growing up, which now we have no kids. Now we have adult kids and teen kids. And even the grandkids are not little. Not for me anyways. But it's something that I've always done. We'll always do it. And this would be fun for you and your little ones or you and your little grandkids. And it's something fun to do together. It's almost like a Christmas tree. And I kind of got somewhat started on what I'm doing. And um, it doesn't look like anything right now. But 
this is something I'm getting started with. Okay, so check this out. Behind me is a big tree limb that fell over uh, the storms that just happened about a, about a week ago. And I usually always do this. I always pick a limb, a, a nice strong limb. And um, if the holidays are coming up, depending on what it is, I get it. I either paint it or spray paint it or, or leave it. And what i done is I left it because I just like the looks of it. Okay? I am going to make my Easter egg little tree. Okay? And I've already done some eggs up here. And I have, this is stuff I've already had. And as you can see, I have uh, several that I've already lined up with uh, Easter grass and um, and hung them up and I've put a string of purple lights that I already had and guys this is really a really great tip um also I do this believe it or not I do this for Halloween this is great for Halloween I always get one of these and put it on my porch on a little table in the middle between my rocking chairs and decorate it. I mean, and I do, I spray a little white and a little gray on the limb before I put the purple lights on it and, and all the Halloween stuff. It's really, really cool. Or you can do it inside or you can do it both ways. And then, you know, I mean, for every holiday you could decorate one of these, okay? Um, except Christmas. You don't want to do that for Christmas because we know that Christmas trees are full and green and what have you. But this is perfect. And not to mention, not to mention, check this out. All right, you ready for this one? Ta-da! This is the coolest little tip idea I think you guys would, are, are going to love, okay? This is definitely really cute for the little ones. But it's also cute for the teens. Why? Check this out. Let me show you how and why. Um... As far as the ears, you guys, I just had these and I clipped it on top. But you can buy the actual uh, bunny ears that go around. You know, like that headpiece that little girls or women wear to pull their hair back. That ha They have them at Dollar Tree and they're bunny ears. And you can put these bunny ears um, actually around, around here, around the head part. Like use this as a head part. And of course, it's, this is very hard for me to do while doing that. But let me show you why this is cool. This is cool. This is a gift. Not just a decoration. This is like a little gift for the little ones. Not to mention, you can put a bow right here. Okay? You can make your own. Or you can buy one. But I didn't go that far because then if you start putting too much into it, then you're going to spend too much money on something that's just going to get, like, tore up. Unless you're just going to keep it for decorations. I'm keeping it for decorations, but I'm I'm not going to put the bow in it. But let me show you why this is so cool. Okay, so I bought these at Dollar Tree, and you get three per pack, Okay. And we all know what these are. I mean, these are usually used for a uh, hot plate or whatever, lunches and what have you. Alright, got that at Dollar Tree and you get three per pack. And then I got these at Walmart. Um, plastic, like, sticks to hold helium balloons. But then I used it for the uh, lollipop. Okay, and what I, why I say it's so cool, let me show you. Alright, so here... We have that. We have the top. Okay. Let me show you what's really cool about this Easter tip idea. Oh, and by the way, happy spring. Okay. And this is why I say this is cool. Do you see that? You can put as many as eggs you can fit in. And you can put grass in it and then the eggs. But you stuff these with the candies or the money, so whatever you guys like to stuff your eggs with. Then, of course, before you make that lollipop I just showed you, you buy your favorite table covers, in which you can get these at Dollar Tree or Walmart. And I bought light blue, orange, 
okay and this is how I made this do you guys get it now it is easy and it is different and it is fun so when you make this right here and you put your little gift in there what you do hold on and what you do is you get one of your plastic little sticks you just put it right in the middle all the way across like that okay and once you put it across like that you put your lid on it just like this and then you just smash it down okay you mash it down just make sure it's in there and right there I show you guys because I'm just demonstrating one but I actually am going to surprise my son with one and put money in it because you know how teens are they like you could do a teen one and put gift cards and whatever but for the little ones that like the eggs check that out okay do you see that okay once you do that then you just pretty much cut a big square of uh, liner here I, I'm gonna call it liner or tablecloth or whatever you want to call it just cut a big square probably just you know big enough and you'll get an idea and then you just cover it like this and just make sure it goes just make sure I'll make sure you guys can see this then just make sure you see where my thumb is you see where my thumb is just make sure it, 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 it goes past a little bit over your thumb so that you can you're able to do just this with it just this right here and then you just get a little little um wire and then you tie it okay and presto and then if you want you can put their names up here I know that lights not good but you can put the name right there like I said yeah that lights gonna get in my way but you can put their names right here and that is cool to me and once you do that you guys check this out you could stuff a tree with it like put a couple up there depending on how many grandkids you have or children you have I have this thing right here this is one I already had at the house and I stuffed it with plastic bags so that the limb will hold still okay but then you need to make like space and stick the lollipops around it and then you can just decorate this down here like I'm going to decorate it so I am going to stop with with this right now and go ahead and get it done so that you guys could see what it's going to look like after I bring it back to life because right now it's just dull looking um, I had these already, but you get those at the Dollar Tree. I had those from parties from years ago. But I will be right back. Alright guys, I'm about to start the tree. I had to kind of make sure it was going to be um, supported enough to have the eggs and lights and everything that I'm about to put on it. The lights are already on it, but um, I'll put some more of these white fluffy... Um, fluffy uh, flower string of flowers like I have up there already and then I'm gonna get started on hanging the eggs okay guys so I am done with the tree and I must say it is freaking amazing and I'm not gonna show it to you just yet I'm gonna wait because I am going to do this uh, thing with the lollipop just one more time so that you guys could see just how easy this was to do and as I've said I had plenty of uh, the stuff that that um, you see on my tree and um, uh, I had all that laying around <clears throat> but as far as making the lollipop I, like I said these only cost a dollar twenty five for three at the dollar tree and then of course you can get the same thing uh table covers at dollar tree or walmart but i got these at walmart because i was in walmart shopping um also got these 
you're gonna need these and they're more sturdy and these are to hold uh, helium balloons but they're also great for this idea to make this lollipop okay and so um, you could put stuff a little grass inside this and put your Easter eggs in here and you can stuff them with the little surprise gifts that you're going to give your children or your grandchildren um, then you take one of the sticks I wish I had like somebody to re uh, film me while I'm doing this because this is so hard to do but you guys are getting the idea and let me show you what you do next is you put this plastic I call it plastic stick or whatever like right there and you put the top on and you want to press down as you go along so as you go along um, like I said um, oh this is hard anyways I'll show you guys here in a second I'll make sure nothing's poking out well something is poking out so I'm going to be pressing I'm going to be pressing like like this but you always make sure it's all tucked in it's like when you do your pies okay and definitely make sure you press right in here okay always make sure you press there and I would suggest you do that first um so that you can get a good press on here because that's going to hold this okay um and I'm doing it with one hand so y'all can see it's not that hard only so I can share with you guys some fun tips to do with your kids or grandkids or friends or what have you or you know your girlfriends with their kids and y'all get together and do this but um yeah and you got yourself a lollipop okay so far so good and the gifts are inside so tell me this is not a cool idea okay this is the coolest idea uh, be, only got this idea only because you know I, I as I've said I do the trees all the time especially for ha for uh, Halloween all right so now we're gonna do the tablecloth cover not cloth but plastic cover as you guys could see this is a lot of plastic okay a lot a lot of plastic okay so just make sure before you cut it is kind of laid out pretty good okay and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this I'm just gonna lay this okay on it and kind of get an idea how much I need to cut like I said you can do it at perfect square like there's just so much of this and give me a minute <laughs> okay so what I'm gonna do is just make sure you have about I don't know about this much of the plastic stick sticking out okay or straw I don't know what you want to call these but um and then you just cut from up top long uh, uh wide enough and long enough that when you cut it it'll come over okay and then you can scringe it and put a uh, a wire okay and that's what I'm going to do so let me go ahead and do that okay guys so I cut a big square and you know what this don't have measurements it don't have um, I don't want you guys to see my tree yet <laughs> but it doesn't have measurements or anything like that you're just gonna have to be a good judge of character to know about how much and you, as you can see how big of a square it is and like I said um, this is impossible to do like I said if you're having to record and yes I should put the camera down but you see this right here you want about this much and then we can just bring this over okay 
you have to trim it. But make sure the butt of it is, or you have it face down so the butt be sticking out this way because that's where you want to start scrunching it, okay? So let me do that. Okay, and so you want to twist, twist it, as you guys can see. You just want to fluff it out. And if you're not happy with the corners, all you have to do is trim. Just like I did with the orange ones I made, I trimmed. But this one came out a little bit better than the other ones. They, this one came out almost perfect. Um, I don't really need to trim it. I, I'm pretty happy with the, the outcome on this one. And then you get your wire um, tie. And... I'm going to do, it's long enough for me to go around it twice, okay? And then, I'm just going to, and you want to tie it as tight as you can, and then kind of twist. Um, only because you want to be able to fluff it out. It gives you more of a fluffy look. Almost, you know, puffy. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for, puffy look. And, then, this is what you have. A, a pretty lollipop with Easter eggs inside and ready for a kid or a teen or whatever to open for Easter other than the Easter basket. I know Easter baskets are fun but so are other ways of making it fun for Easter. Okay? And as I've said, you can put ears on it, a bow, you can put their name and glitter with glue across it. Um, you can do so many things just to make it so much more fun. And don't go out and pay a whole lot for these uh, things because like I said, what I'm going to show you on my tree I already had. Already stored in boxes from so many other Easter's and I just kept over time. Um... So, but with that being said, I am ready to show you guys my tree. I am so excited about um, showing you guys this tree that if you guys take it upon yourselves and do this project with your kids or just do it alone and surprise them, that is on you and that's totally up to you. I mean, either way, they're going to love it. They're going to be happy. They're going to be excited. And I just... I just feel like it just brightens up the room. It makes you smile. It makes you look forward to Easter. Um, so, and you know, I'm about to uh, make myself a wreath. You know, I bought this at the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to make myself a wreath with some spring flowers and put it, hang it on the door. Um, I'm trying to get into the Easter mood. I know Easter is next week, uh, next weekend. So I have a week, and usually I get started way before then, but like I've had so much to do and so many things to get done that I'm not even done yet. I'm not even done spring cleaning, if that says anything. But anyways, let's get to the tree. You ready? Look behind me. Ta-da! Guys, I'm telling you, this looks so much better on, I mean, not, it looks so much better in person than it does on video. Like, look how cool this is. Like, seriously, guys, come on. And then I'm going to have an Easter basket here. And there's the lollipops. I'm going to do a, another blue lollipop. But you got the Easter eggs. You got East, the, the grass hanging. It looks like a moss tree. Oh, my God. How pretty is this? I would like to hear your comments, um, or not here, but I would like to read your comments and tell me what you think of this Easter tree that I made of uh, four great tips for Easter for the kids. And at nighttime, you guys, it is so pretty at nighttime. Right now, it doesn't do no justice because I have that bright, sunny window over there that's shining over here and it really you really can't see it but I can see it and it's so beautiful um I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and these great Easter tip ideas and hopefully you guys get to do this and if you do please 
please please comment below send me pictures whatever and please don't forget to subscribe give me a big fat thumbs up for this because it took a lot of work um and the propping and everything else and don't forget to comment share and most of all hit those post notifications so that when i upload a new video you are notified until then i'm thinking i'm i'm remembering everything because my mind's everywhere i got so much going on i can't think straight but thank you for joining me with taya everything until next time stay positive live a little and don't forget to love yourself until next time happy easter and happy spring everyone